What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. So last night I was uh, scrolling on YouTube and I came across Donald Trump on The View in 2011. Obviously, this would be more epic if this was in 2024, but still, this is crazy. I never knew he went on this show. So let's take a look at Donald Trump on The View in 2011. Donald Trump is a billionaire, a real estate mogul, and a television star. But does he really want to add president of the United States to his resume? Yeah. A lot of people would like him to. Please, let's find out. And please welcome my friend, Donald Trump. <laughs> Did you would you have ever have thought that Donald Trump and Whoopi Goldberg had kissed before? Whenever you're on, whenever you're on with us, we're very happy. We love it. Okay, so I'm going to take you at your word that you have not decided yet when you're going to run, but you're thinking about it and you've expressed some of your views. She's talking about they're talking about him running for president. Uh, which are controversial and in many ways, uh, yeah, but, but, not, but not to her. <laughs> well, not to her. Okay, you're a Republican, so, but, but let's we'll say, point point. let's say that you do decide in the spring, right? Um, and your ideas are, resonate so much. On the other hand, um, you know, we saw Newt Gingrich apologizing for his marriages and divorces. You've had three marriages, two sort of uncomfortable divorces. Do you think no, that the. Not really. They were very comfortable. <laughs> well, we won't leave you all do you, do, you, do you think that the country, uh, that would bother anybody? I think the country is doing so badly, they want somebody that's going to help it. I think the country has never been in a position like it is right now. It's yeah, our, our country sucks so much compared to how it was in 2011 to 2024. It's like a completely different place, in my opinion. Being ripped off by every nation every intelligent nation in the world, whether it's China, they're taking our jobs, they're making all our product, and then they loan us back the money we pay them interest. That is Whether crazy. it's OPEC, OPEC, which is, I mean, they're having a field day right now. How about the, the Arab League? They say, we want you to go in and attack Libya. Mm -hmm. These are the wealthiest countries in the world. Why aren't they paying us? Okay, Why so then they, they changed so their minds with that, but you didn't so, answer so, my question. No, I did answer your question. You, I really you think, think it people... Won't matter. I think maybe 10 years ago it would have mattered, yeah. five years ago... It, yeah. The fact is, I think people want somebody now that's going to protect them and protect this country because we're not going to be a great country for long if we keep going the way we're going right now. If you and look at us now. When, when we have... Barbara, when we have France, France leading the charge, okay? France, this is the, our new leader. By the way, they led for about two hours. After that, nobody's seen them. I don't well, know if you know that. They're closer geographically, so they should. Let me just ask a follow-up question to the Let me just ask a follow-up question to that. Let's say you run. Uh, you've given a lot of thought for this. Uh, who would you like as your vice president, possibly Sarah Palin? Well, I think it's far too early even to discuss. Mike Pence. Discuss that. I'm going to make a decision sometime prior to June. I'm thinking about it very strongly. I think I'd do a really good job. I think I'd protect this country like it's not being protected. You know, it's funny. So many of the things I say, now politicians are saying, hey, that's right. Why don't we, like, why aren't they paying us? If you look at North Korea, South Korea, we're protecting South Korea. They're making a fortune. Let's call it hundreds of billions of dollars of profit on us. We have 25,000 soldiers over there protecting them. They don't pay us. Why are they paying us? You'd be us? treating this like a business. But no, no, a business with heart. Okay. Believe me, it's, there's a lot of heart. It's a business, but it's also a business with heart. We will destroy this country. It won't be a war. If the economics of this country keep going the way they're going, we're not going to have but a you, country. You're kind of a social liberal, Donald. You know, you're a social liberal. Could you actually get the base to vote for you in the primary? Well, every poll is saying that I'm the one that does the best. They you know, do. they're they, doing polls. They and actually have you a higher approval rating than Mitt Romney, Tim Pawlenty, uh, John Boehner. Well, but out, of, all the, out of those, if you're thinking of competition within the party to get the nomination, really your biggest competition will be, should you get the nomination... President Obama. Well, I was the only one. Him? A CNN poll just came out, as you probably saw, and mm -hmm. I was the only one that was essentially tied with Obama. Everyone was <laughs> tenant. He has no idea how bad his relationship with CNN will be in about five years after this. 
15 points down. So, you know, we'll see. I haven't made a decision. I'll be making no. a decision, and I will do a good job if I decide yes and if I win. Okay. I just was wondering, because you, you were talking about how all these countries have been doing this, you, you would admit that this has sort of been business as usual for the last 30 years. I mean, oh, yes. we have, oh, yes. we, I, I so would, this is not, I, because nothing I, I, it's nothing new. This has been going on. So you're saying you would come in it's and stop on. that practice. But it's never been as bad as it is now. We've never had a trillion six in deficits. It was as bad when George Bush left office. So no, he no, was the one who have, left this, uh, right. who left right. this Excuse me, mess. I'm a Republican. That's George right. Bush, okay. he gave us Obama. I'm not a big fan of George Bush. I'm not a fan well, of Obama. Let's not talk about what, who I gave know, who, I know, maybe, Whoopi. Because we're going to get Whoopi's vote. If you did, if you did, let me just. He's triggered Whoopi over saying he's a Republican. If you did be, and she sorry. likes me. She even put I, I me do, in a movie. She's going to say. She put okay, me in a movie. Yes, right? Yeah, a long time ago. So how much should I judge? Nothing. Like they right? say in the garden. <laughs> if you did so we, beat Obama, though. It's just. You... Look at them getting along like this, though. Isn't that? Isn't this crazy? It's like some sort of alternate universe. Never would have thought this would have existed. Is that you're Donald. fired to him if you did beat him in the general yeah, election? I don't want to trivialize it. You know, we have this show that turned out to be such a success, or maybe that's why I'm sitting here partially, because people have gotten to know you me. Respect respect it. Well, what about this? You recently said about President Obama, I'm going to quote you, he grew up and nobody knew him. Nobody knows who he is until later in his life. The whole thing is very strange. What are you driving at there? Are you a birther, well, Donald? Okay. Let, me, let me just tell you that. I was a really good student at the best school. I'm not like a smart guy, okay? They make these birthers into the worst idiots. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? I, I think he probably... He to? Because I have to, and everybody else has to, Whoopi. I'm sh I remember back in 2011, I was in junior high. The big, the big thing back then was Obama showing his birth certificate. Everybody that was against Obama was like, oh, he's got to like, show his birth certificate. It's kind of funny. Why would you show... Excuse me. Why? No, excuse me. I really believe there's a birth certificate. Why, look, she's smiling. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? And you know what? I wish he would, because I think it's a terrible pal that's hanging over him. He should show his birth certificate. The other thing, if you go back to my first grade, my kindergarten, people remember me. Nobody from those early years. That's not true. We have pictures of them. What are you I talking know. about? Okay, show me a picture. There are kids no, no, no. in Hawaii. There are people in Hawaii. I've there seen are people that he's grown up. I've seen no, but as I little kids. Seen early pictures. But more importantly, is, yeah. why doesn't he? And, and you know what? I think he probably was, but the word probably would be... Why the did word he have to defend because himself you're against, you know why? against uh, an accusation? Because, because if you're going to be the president... Of course he's an American because citizen. Because if you're going to be the president of the United States, it says very profoundly that you have to be born in this country. But did well, any other president do that? Did George Bush not be the president? The president who invited he wanted to take over him if it's true. Probably he was. No one has ever asked George Bush or said to George Bush... Is, I'm sorry, is Hawaii American? not part of the I'm United States? Of George Bush. And I'm not why? saying I was a fan why? of George Bush. No, no. You know that better than anybody. But, why? but George okay. Bush was born in this country. That's right. What is, uh, isn't Hawaii yeah. still part of the United you States? Question? Am I gone? You know, Do you, you know what? whether he was or not because he hasn't come forward no, no, no. with it? I, I grew up in New York. Wall Street was a big part. I have seen fraud and I have seen scandal and I have seen things that a lot of people don't see. I've seen people take a hundred dollar bill and make it a million dollar bill. We're gonna have to pause. Get to the point. Okay. The point is, I don't. I can't rely on some newspaper that they show in that. In order to become president of the United States, in order to get I want him to show his birth certificate. I want him to show his birth certificate. There's something okay, on that well, birth no, certificate that he doesn't like. Oh my God! Oh, that's a terrible that is thing. just that's the worst thing. I'm telling you, three pounds. Donnie, I love you. I'm telling you. I love you too. I think that's the biggest pile of dog. They just said they love each other. Insane man, insane footage we got right here. Dog mess it's I've heard in ages. Well, the question is, that why not show it? Right? There's something on his birth certificate he doesn't want to show. It's not because he's black. Let it's him not show. You were born. Has what nothing color to do with it. Okay. Okay. Right. How's that you weigh any white person? Everybody knew that's listening to this. Knew that's what it was really about. They're like, is it because he's black? President asked to be shown the birth certificate. When you become a president of the United States of America, okay, let's you see. know that he's let American. I'm saying that's BS. Are you saying that it just only lets people have doubts? Do you want to talk about the there. Apprentice? It doesn't matter. It's doing great. Good. The ratings are through the roof. This is horrible. Then we have to pause. This is back when The Apprentice was on TV. For those that may be too young to know about all that, that was Donald Trump's 
TV show before he was president. And I guess, I guess being on WWE probably got him in the spotlight, but then came the apprentice and everybody just knew him as the guy that was like, you're fired. You know, those were the days, right? We'll have more of this when we come back. I'm going to end this here. If you want to watch the full video, you can find it on um, the view archive on YouTube. Just, just type the view Donald Trump 2011. This was hilarious footage. This is it's crazy footage. Uh, I don't know what to make of it. Earth said JD, like, subscribe, consider donating. Thank you for watching.